Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. As we all are aware of increased fighter jet sorties of PLA Air Force at LSE near the northern and eastern frontiers. From what it appears, this is not just simple act of Chinese aggression but a calculated move by China to perform signet and recon missions in order to locate Indian SAM and other strategic assets. This may even lead to some short-term conflict between the two giants of Asia. India has been living in no war, no peace kind of situation where there is no declared war but the threat for the same has been looming around since April 2020. The Indian Air Force is performing regular sorties and scrambling its MiG-29, Mirage 2000 and even Rafales to counter any possible Chinese aggression. However, Tejas has been missing from action. Indian Air Force has one squadron of Tejas Mark I, based in Solur, No. 45 Squadron Flying Daggers. The squadron has total 16 Tejas Mark I in operation with IOC, that is Initial Operational Clearance Configuration. The second squadron of Tejas Mark I is also located at Solur, No. 18 Squadron Flying Bullets. This squadron has Tejas Mark I with FOC, that is Final Operational Clearance Configuration. As of today, 14 Tejas Mark I with FOC configuration has been delivered to Indian Air Force by HL. Sulur, which is in Tamil Nadu, is too far from LSE. However, as per the latest reports, No. 45 Squadron that is Flying Daggers will be moved to Eastern Front to tackle the rising scrambles of Chinese fighter jets. Tejas may soon be seen in action performing DCA or bar cap sorties along India's borders. DCA is Defensive Counter Air Sortie. It is a mission where fighters reactively engage an adversary in the defense of some protected asset. BARCAP or Barrier Combat Air Patrol in fleet terms is a mission flown between a carrier battle group and the direction from which it is most likely that an enemy attack will come. It also refers to fighter aircraft placed between a friendly strike force and an area of expected airborne threat also known as a MiG screen. At present, Indian Air Force is using MiG-29, Mirage 2000 and even Rafales. The per hour sortie cost of Rafale is close to 19,000 to 21,000 US dollars, whereas that of Tejas is just 5,000 to 7,000 US dollars, which means operating Tejas is 3 to 4 times cheaper than Rafale. At the same time, due to its very small size and extremely agile, it will be a nightmare for Chinese fighter jets such as J-11B, which is derivative of Su-27. Indian Air Force needs cheaper single-engine fighter jet or else PLA Air Force will drain Indian Air Force economically in their routine scrambles if later relies on its twin-engine fighters such as MiG-29 or Rafale to counter the Chinese fighters. The situation like this makes us realize the need of more capable single-engine fighters like Tejas Mark 1A and Mark 2. Moreover, with RCS of 0.5 meters square, way less than MiG-29s, which is having RCS of 2 meters squares, and with the integration of IWER Python 5, R73, and Hammer missile, Tejas Mark 1 is a real threat for PLA fighters. This also stresses on the fast-tracking integration of Astra Mark I and Rudra missile with TS Mark I, which will make PLA Air Force sweat flying in the buffer zone. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.